Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of 19th of June for mobile optimized ebooks. That means for the text version of this quiz, please install GK Today Academy app and you can get the current affairs in text format. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. This is the name of Telegram channel, GK Today YouTube and this is the link. Now we have started a new channel, Civil Academy and you can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. What is the rank of India in the World Competitiveness Index 2020? So India's rank is 43. This index has been released by IMD, that is Institute for Management Development. Last year also India's ranking was same, that means it was 43. And this year this index ranked, that means this 2020 index ranked 63 countries. And out of these 63, Singapore is on top position while India is on 43rd position. The Inter-Korean Liaison Office building that has been demolished is located in which country? So this was in North Korea and recently it was announced by South Korea that North Korea has blown up this Inter-Korean Liaison Office building. It is important to note that this joint liaison office was set up in North Korea in 2003 for the betterment of ties between these two countries. And this Kaesong industrial complex was jointly operated by both North Koreans as well as by South Koreans. Now in the context of Korea, recently there was a term which was in news and it is THAAD. Answer in comment box what is THAAD and similar to THAAD there is one more term Iron Dome. So please answer in comment box what is the full form of THAAD and what is Iron Dome. What is the theme of International Day? of Family Remittances 2020. So every year it is celebrated on 16th of June and the theme was Remittances are a lifeline. Chinese car maker Great Wall Motors that is GWM signed memorandum of understanding with which Indian state to modernize its manufacturing plant. So this is Maharashtra and with Maharashtra GWM signed a memorandum of understanding for the modernization of its manufacturing plant in Telegaon. The company that means GWM also confirmed that it is going to invest 1 billion dollars in Indian market and this is a Chinese car maker company. Now Maharashtra was also in news as recently KVIC announced new projects for Palghar district of Maharashtra. KVIC stands for Khadi and Village Industries Commission. It is under MSME ministry. MSME stands for micro small and medium enterprises and recently champions portal was launched for the msme sector now answer in comment box whether kvic is a statutory body or a constitutional body the investment arm of nabard that is nab ventures fund one has made its first investment in which rural fintech startup so it made its first investment in jay kisan it is a startup related to the agriculture sector. What is NAB Venture? It is the investment arm of NABARD. What is NABARD? It is National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. So this NAB Venture was started in 2019 and it was a fund with proposed corpus of over 500 crore rupees. Now what is this Jai Kisan? It is a startup and it is a Mumbai based startup and Arjun Aluwalia and Adriel Meningo are the co-founders of this startup. Which international financial institution approved a loan of 750 million US dollars to India to tackle COVID-19? So recently this was approved by AIIB and AIIB is China led bank and its headquarter is in Beijing and this loan is going to be co-financed by ADB that is Asian Development Bank and this is going to be a part of CRF. What is CRF? It is COVID-19 Recovery Facility. Which Union Ministry of India released a report titled Assessment of Climate Change over Indian Region. So this report has been released by MOES that is Ministry of Earth Sciences and as per this report the average surface temperature over India could rise up by 4.4 degrees by the end of this century, that means by 2100. And this report, 
that means this assessment of climate change over indian region this report is based on the climate forecasting model that has been developed by iitm pune what is iitm it is institute of tropical meteorology galwan valley which was in news recently is located in which indian state or union territory so it is in union territory of ladakh now i have explained this entire issue in detail on civil academy so if you are interested you can watch that so right now three points were in news because of standoff between india and china and these three points are pangong so lake galwan valley and hot springs so you should also know about what is the difference between lac and loc what is dolak beg all the darbuk road what is siachen glacier and what is its significance and what is the significance of saksgam valley so all these points have already been discussed in a special video on this topic india is set to send a 75 member tri service contingent to participate in the victory day parade of which country so this country is russia and india is going to send its contingent to participate in the victory day parade actually this parade was scheduled to be on 9th of may but due to covid 19 this was postponed and this is the 75th anniversary of the world war second and that is why this military parade is being conducted by russia and india is going to send its contingent participate in this victory parade by russia which country has signed agreement with unicef to supply pneumonia vaccine to low income nations at affordable rates so the serum institute of india is set to provide the vaccines for pneumonia and for this purpose recently mou has been signed between unicef and serum institute of india and the serum institute of india is pune based institute Who is the chairperson of high powered panel constituted by SEBI that has released its report to improve the inquiry and enforcement processes of SEBI so this panel is headed by justice AR Dave SEBI stands for Security and Exchange Board of India so this panel was constituted and this panel recommended the improvement in the enforcement processes and this was headed by retired judge Anil R Dave Which technology company has launched a dedicated search prompt to help people with shoses to tackle domestic violence? So this initiative was started by Twitter, and this initiative will direct people who are looking for the domestic violence-related keywords to the authentic information from WCD. What is WCD? It is Ministry of Women and Child Development. It will also direct towards NCW. What is NCW? It is National Commission for Women. Now answer in comment box who is the current chairperson of NCW so this initiative of twitter is a part of hashtag there is help initiative how many states have been identified by the sports ministry for creating kis ce that is khelo india state center of excellence so in the first phase the ministry has identified eight such sports facility to be converted in KIS CE that is Khelo India State Center of Excellence so this is an initiative of sports ministry and one important thing that for the upgradation of sports infrastructure the government is going to provide grant and rest of the money will come through VGF what is VGF that is viability gap funding so please answer in comment box what is viability gap funding which eclipse is to be witnessed on 21st of june in our country so this is going to be solar eclipse and it is annular solar eclipse what is solar eclipse it means when the moon passes between sun and earth and moon block the light which is coming from the sun and therefore it prevent this light from sun to earth now 21st of june is also celebrated as international yoga day Which Indian sprinter has been nominated for Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratan Award? So Hima Das has been nominated for this award, and she is going to compete with Neeraj Chopra, who is javelin thrower, Vinay Bhogat, who is wrestler, Monica Batra, who is table tennis player, Rani Rampal, who is captain of women's hockey team, and Rohit Sharma, who is cricketer. Which Indian state or union territory is set to have the 
world's largest covid-19 care facility so this is new delhi and it is going to have the world's largest covid-19 care facility now one important thing please make sure that you do not give too much attention to the initiative taken by various state governments for this covid-19 because in case of a national exam minor initiatives will not be that much important so you just read them once but do not try to mug up everything that has been started by any state government obviously if it is your own state and if you are going to appear in that state specific exam then it is important otherwise do not give too much importance to this which generic steroid drug has been found to reduce the death by a third for the patients affected by the covid-19 so this drug was in news it is a steroid and it is dexamethasone i have already uploaded a video on this topic you can watch that now the efficacy of this drug was found during the recovery trial now answer in comment box this recovery trial is associated to which country which tennis championship is scheduled to be held from 31st of august to 13th of september without spectators so this championship is us open actually there are four tournaments and these four are known as grand slam so this australian open is organized in usually january french open is also known as roland garros and it is organized in may june wimbledon is organized in june july and this us open is organized in august september so usa was in news because of this us open championship now usa was also in news as it decided to quit who usa was also in news because of kathy sullivan answer in comment box c is associated to which field which indian software company signed climate pledge and announced to go net carbon free by 2040 so this company is infosys and recently it has signed a climate pledge and this climate pledge is an initiative by amazon founder jeff bezos where is the fourth edition of asian youth para games scheduled to be held so these games are going to be in bahrain and this is fourth edition and it will be in 2021 and it is going to be in bahrain so these were the most important questions now yesterday when i said that we are going to discontinue this news discussion i mentioned that it was due to dull response from the viewers not because of trollers or haters in era of internet nobody cares about trollers or in haters they are just attention seekers and every jobless troller is 100% right so it's better you should stay away from them just use the block feature and let them cry for the attention now coming back to original point so what i was saying that last year also that means in 2019 the videos used to get around 15 to 18000 views even after one year the views are almost same so that is what i was saying anyway now based on your response i am continuing it on temporary basis so the first news is deen dayal upadhyay sashaktikaran puraskar so recently this award was in news because the jammu and kashmir administration has been awarded for their outstanding contribution in the socio economic development of gram panchayats and this award was conferred by ministry of panchayati raj and this award was given to the three different panchayats of jammu and kashmir these panchayats are situated in two districts of jammu and kashmir one is rajouri and second is pulwama next news is rock bank suburb so this is situated in melbourne and it was in news because it is going to have streets named after indian cricketers such as sachin tendulkar kapil dev and virat kohli next is uyghur bill so uyghurs are the muslim minority community in china and recently it was in news because us president signed a bill and as per this bill usa is going to impose sanctions on those chinese officials who are involved in the human right violation of uyghur muslims next is india's first mobile testing lab so recently this was launched by dr harshwardhan and this is supported by dbt what is dbt it is department of biotechnology and it is supported by dbt under covid-19 command strategy so this mobile lab that means mobile testing lab will be deployed in the interior and inaccessible parts of our country next is largest decline in arctic sea ice so recently 
NCPOR has observed that there is a largest decline in the arctic sea ice in last 41 years now what is this ncpor it is national center of polar and oceanic research and it is under ministry of earth sciences and it is situated in goa next is exxon so it is a cuisine and which is related to state of nagaland next is world crocodile day so it was celebrated on 17th of june and sustainable Gastronomy Day was celebrated on 18th of June. Next is Triple B minus. So recently, Fitch Ratings has retained India's sovereign rating at Triple B minus. Next is My Earth Concert for Kids. So recently, this was in news because French company Vivendi partnered with Grammy winner Ricky Kaz for this My Earth Concert for Kids. Next is Composite Regional Centre. PWDs that means persons with disabilities so this regional center was in news as this has been inaugurated in Ranchi in Jharkhand next is garib kalyan rozgar abhiyan so it will be launched from bihar and it is a public work scheme for the livelihood opportunities initially six states will be covered these six states are uttar pradesh madhya pradesh rajasthan odisha jharkhand and bihar next is India Mobile Payments Market Report. So recently, this report was in news because it has been released by S N P Global Market Intelligence. Next is a collaboration news. So recently, Maruti Suzuki collaborated with Karur Vaishya Bank for the flexible financing plans. Next is related to U N S C. That means United Nations Security Council. So India has been re-elected and India has been re-elected for the eighth time. Now I have already uploaded a special video on. this topic you can watch that apart from india ireland mexico and norway were elected india's permanent representative to united nation is ts trimurthy now because of india's election to unsc recently two terms were in use one is 5s strategy and second is norms what is norms it stands for a new orientation for a reformed multilateral system so these were the most important questions and news of today's video now homework so first homework is what is vaccine nationalism second is what is pangolin and recently why china was in news due to pangolin and third is what is the meaning of this term land use change why this term was in news because recently world day against desertification and drought was celebrated so this is related to that and there is a convention un ccd please read about that so these were the most important questions thank you and that's all for the day